So hey there, everybody. I don't know if you know this or not, but we're halfway through 2023 already. It's crazy. Time has just been flying by here at AZ Drone for us. And I wanted to address the biggest question that I've been getting for the first half of the year. You know, people get in touch with us on a regular basis to learn more about our classes, to learn more about our process when we're doing drone work at construction sites. And they also ask a lot of other questions. So what's the number one question that we've gotten for the first half of 2023? What drone should I get in 2023? We'll talk more about that in just a moment. All right, everybody, so as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out for a few. We're gonna get right to this. So this year, I, I can't even tell you how many hundreds and hundreds of emails I've gotten, people asking what drone should they get for building their small or medium-sized drone business. And it really depends on what you wanna do. One of the big and most confusing factors out there, the, the biggest game in town is of course DJI. And DJI has been just releasing all these different drones, Mavic this and Mavic that, and a Matrice here and a Matrice there. But the biggest thing are all these different Mag Mavics, big ones, small ones, cinema ones, standard ones, classic ones. Which one do we get? Well, one of the big things here at AZ Drone is we're doing a lot of drone construction progression reporting for our clients. So we are looking to do mapping, modeling, video, stills, 360s, you name it. We want to be able to do all of that. And let me tell you something. I'm going to turn around here. And here's my weird pizza box case. Hey, check it out. It's like a pizza slice, right? In this is my favorite drone of all time. And that would be the Mavic 2 Pro. So if this was still available today and people were asking me that question, I'd probably be saying to them, get yourself a Mavic 2 Pro. Well, that's not possible. That's just not possible anymore, except maybe on eBay and finding some used drones. But why do I say the uh, Mavic 2 Pro is the drone that I like? It's a Swiss army knife of drones, just like our Phantom 4 Pro as well. Um, these two drones are Swiss Army knives. You can do video, you can do stills, you can do mapping and modeling, whether it's basic ma mapping and modeling or higher end mapping and modeling. Um, it just worked for all the applications I needed. Now, uh, with the release of all these new Mavics, the Mavic 3 series, it's not the case that we can use all the tools that we used on the Mavic 2 and the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, so what I've got up on screen right now, because here's here's the way to answer your questions, everyone. Everyone who's been asking, you know, what drone should I get? I utilize a lot of third-party apps. So I use Litchi, I use Drone Harmony, I use, um, let me see up here, Map Pilot Pro. I'm losing track. I've got some things up on top. Um, we've tested out ground control measure and or measure ground control. And so the biggest the biggest issue here is if you are interested in utilizing third-party apps for your mapping and modeling and maybe some other autonomous flight, um, you need to double check with all these app vendors as to what drones are supported and aren't supported. Because part of the Mavic 3 series is not supported. The Mavic 3 Enterprise is supported by a bunch of the third-party manufacturers. And so we just got Litchi up on screen here. I'm just gonna zoom in here really quick. So Litchi is compatible with the Mini 2, uh, Mini SE, Air 2S, uh, Mavic Mini 1, Mavic Air 2. Uh, we've got the uh, Mavic 2 Pro, um, the Mavic Air Pro, Phantom 4. So we're just reading through this. What am I looking for that I'm not seeing here right now? Um, I don't seem to be seeing the Mavic 3 Enterprise here yet. So if I am going to be getting, and we're trying to make a purchase of a Mavic 3 Enterprise, um, we'll let you guys know in the next couple of weeks. It's going to depend on how our 4th of July class sale goes to fund that. But so right here, it's not looking like um, that Mavic 3 Enterprise is supported right now. Jumping over to Map Pilot Pro, which is another tool I use on a regular basis. Haha, Mavic 3 Enterprise is supported for that particular remote that they have. That's awesome. Then we've got the list of the extra things. But several of the other Mavic 3s, that uh, Mavic 3 Classic, um, the Mavic 3 Sin, or the Mavic 3 Pro, um, third-party apps aren't supporting them. They didn't get the SDK. It wasn't their choice. It was DJI's choice. 
So since they haven't put that out, that is problematic. Now, I do want to say this. Several of the Mavic 3s also do allow for waypoint missions, not with third-party applications, but with their own software in their own applications. So that is a route to go. The issue for me is that since we do a high volume of flights for people, we've got a lot of projects we're managing. And one of the nice things in Litchi or Map Pilot Pro is I can synchronize my missions between different drones. So what I synchronize for Map Pilot Pro for um for the Phantom 4 Pro, let's say, I can then synchronize that over for my Mavic 2 Pros. And so, you know, it's more of a streamlined business process. Some of the uh, drones that DJI is putting out now with their own waypoint systems, I can't even find out if it's saved in the cloud and that I can actually transfer it to other devices. So that's a big one. My bottom line here today, because I wanted to keep this short, you are going to need to do some reading. If you are interested in the third-party apps, your, your field has been limited by that. If you're grabbing one of the new Mavic 3s and you think that it's compatible, you need to double and triple check it. I'm going to go over to Drone Harmony really quick. And just looking around, they've got their list as well. So whenever this question comes into me, I always do say to people, you know, check the third-party app you're interested in using. And if they don't support it right now, you need to find out if they're going to support it down the road. And the bigger question there is, is DJI going to release that SDK? Now, I do know for a fact, and a lot of the people who have contacted me, many have spent thousands of dollars on the wrong drone and found that out too late. So if you're planning on making that purchase, do some in-depth research, not just on my channel, not just on other YouTubers' channels, for yourself. Go to the website. Check out who they support, who they don't support. Place a phone call. Send them an email with your question, which I've been doing recently since we are considering to getting the Mavic 3 Enterprise. By the way, if you'd like to help us get that Mavic 3 Enterprise in-house, all of our class sales that are going on right now, we have a summer sale going on, 40% off for our 17 class bundle. And that sale ends on July 5th or when we hit 50 new students on the platform. Right now, we're on our way to making our goals to get that Mavic 3 Enterprise. And when we do, you're going to see some of the unboxing and setup here on YouTube. And we're also going to make a full class series on utilizing the Mavic 3 and getting all of our data over to it that we already have for our ongoing clients that we utilize the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro for. Good luck, everyone, in the buying decision. I know it's not easy. And I hope you find the drone that's going to work for you in the second half of 2023.